Network Watcher has some excellent tools to help troubleshoot connectivity to and from your Azure resources. So I'll go to the search at the top and type in Network Watcher. And then I'll go ahead and click on that option once it pops up. Now it shows me these three different areas that I've created resources. So if you've created resources in different areas, and you'll see different names that show up here. And if I click on any of them, it just gives me some basic information about them. And I can also set up some roles and administration as well. However, where the real help is, is going to be on the left hand side. And you see all these different tools that you can use to troubleshoot. So for instance, if I go to network diagnostic tools and click on IP flow verify, then I can go in and see if a particular IP address is going to be allowed to connect, say, to remote desktop. So I know I have remote desktop set up, so I'll put in 3389 on both the local and remote. And now I'm going to put in my IP address that I checked earlier. So I'll go ahead and click check. And at the bottom, you'll see that it's loading and it's going to verify whether or not it works. And it says that access is allowed. Now I'm going to change this port to 3395. I know for sure I don't have that open. So I should see that it is blocked. And as expected, we see access is denied. There are a lot of other tools here. Like on the left hand side, we can see next hop. And here we can put in the destination IP address. This tool isn't quite as useful. It just basically tells you you're going to be going out to the internet for your next hop. And that's just about it. But they can't all be winners. So let's go to this other section here, which I think is really useful called metrics. So I'll click on usage and quotas. And it'll tell me how I'm doing compared to the quotas that I have set that allows me to use specific resources. And I find this really useful because, for instance, under Network Watchers, it shows me my current usage is at 100%. If I go to public IP addresses, I'm using 2 of 20. And I keep going down. Here's other resources, and I'm not using those at all. So it really can help determine the resources that maybe other users have created on your network, and you may not be aware of it. Another area I find really useful is the topology under monitoring. So you can pick your resource group. So for instance, I'll choose team group, which is where I moved my virtual machine. And I'll choose my virtual machine virtual net. And it actually shows me a graphical view of all my different objects. So I can click on that object, and it drills down to show me that object with more detail. Now I'm looking at the Ascend Store virtual net, and I'm going to click on one of these other items. And this is showing me the network interface for this particular VNet. And this VNet was created automatically when I added in a virtual machine, and it automatically creates other resources as well. Network Watcher is a suite of tools to monitor, maintain, and troubleshoot resources in Microsoft Azure.